Once upon a time, long ago in the medieval era, in what is now called Germany, there was a town called Bingen. This town was next to a large river called the Rhine. Near this town, a woman named Hildegard was in charge of a monastery of nuns. She became famous through her music, her visions, her knowledge of natural science and medicine and cures for diseases, and the many books she wrote on these subjects. Because she lived in Bingen, she was known as Hildegard of Bingen. Hildegard came from a rich family and was one of ten children. Her parents gave her to the church to become a nun, which was a popular thing to do with extra children in those days, especially if you had ten. After many years, Hildegard became a prioress, which meant she was in charge of the nuns at the monastery. Now, she did too many moving things to fit into one video, so we're going to look at only three. The first one is her visions. Ever since she was a child, Hildegard had many visions, and she wrote down these visions in many books during her life. These books were both agreed on by the church, and they even encouraged her to write them. Hildegard is also known for her study of natural science. She studied and wrote about the medicinal uses of various plants, stones, and animals, as well as treatments for different illnesses. Yet another thing Hildegard is famous for is the beautiful music she wrote in her lifetime. As you can hear in the background, there is only one melody being sung. This was how most music sounded during her time. The fact you can hear female voices was unusual. Most religious music in Hildegard's time was sung by men, so she wrote music for female voices as well as male. She also wrote what many consider the first opera called Ordo Virtutum. It's a morality play, that is, a story with a moral at the end. Hildegard is the oldest composer we know a lot about. While we know of music that's older, we know little about who wrote them. Sometimes we don't even know who the composer was. Hildegard's the first composer we can learn about as a complete person, rather than a mysterious name. Again, there's a lot more about Hildegard von Bingen we didn't cover here, like the fact that she became one of the few doctors of the church, and a saint. But you'll have to research that on your own.